It is time to get you in the know. Now we'll be taking a look at some forecast conditions across much of the country. Autumn in full swing in Nova Scotia based on the colors we're seeing here. However, temperatures for much of eastern Canada are feeling a little more summer like in the days ahead. Should make for some great conditions to go exploring as Nathan was there in his weather network cruiser. Meanwhile, in Fredericton, we're getting a nice peaceful shot along the water. Fredericton, one of many places that will be enjoying some nice temperatures. And what's bringing this unseasonable heat? Well, we'll be getting to the bottom of that. And in Mississauga, it's not just the warmth we've already seen starting to build in. The beautiful blue skies are certainly on tap. Meanwhile, the atmospheric pattern in British Columbia delivering quite a bit of rainfall in the days ahead. So that's just the kind of contrast we can see when our pattern sets up like this. We now bring in our meteorologist Nadine Powell for an important discussion today, Nadine. We're kind of diving into the nuances of our atmospheric patterns and just why we might see a contrast like this. Yeah, you know, Matt, when we talk about that, we always look to the upper levels, especially for the big mm -hmm. picture and the jet stream, what sort of pattern is setting up. And we tend to have two broad patterns. We have that zonal pattern, more or less where we see systems moving along at a relatively uh, okay to fast pace. And then we see our temperatures more or less near seasonal force. But then things get interesting, Matt, when we get into that amplified jet stream pattern where we have systems moving a bit slow. We get ridges setting up and we get troughs setting up as well and that's where we see uh, the differences and it can, can be quite a contrast in you know weather conditions and temperature conditions with this amplified pattern and that's kind of something we're seeing right now in the country is that contrast with that amplified pattern we hear a lot about the jet stream and it seems like one of the things it can produce is a ridge which is going to be delivering weather that's maybe a bit warmer kind of like what we're seeing right now in parts of western Canada yeah, so when we get that ridge setting up, especially through the upper levels, that ridge is more or less like an elongated area of high pressure, generally associated with fair weather and warmer temperatures or even above seasonal. And then on the flip side, when we get that trough, is that low pressure tend to be associated with active weather or maybe even stormy weather and cooler temperatures. And Matt, you see here the pattern in our upper levels setting up for us. We've got that ridge across the Purrs and it will slowly be shifting into the Great Lakes and into Quebec as well. But a little bit different when we get sort of like a cutoff low in the upper levels. That cutoff low can bring some active weather as well in the form of rain or snow, depending on, of course, the temperatures and the season. But Matt, when we take a look at those temperatures above season with that ridge in the prairies, look at these temperatures for today. Yeah. I mean, we can even see visually, right, the sort of intensity of that ridge and the temperatures really reflecting that as yesterday was Alberta that was scraping near 32 degrees. And yes, for the day today, we see some 30 degree temperatures by Wednesday. Nadine, we're going to dip below that mark, still some unseasonable heat. But yes, as you mentioned, that heat gradually shifting east. Yeah, so that ridge will be pushing its way into the Great Lakes and into Quebec for us in the coming days. And we'll see a lot of that heat push through that region. So, for instance, for us by Saturday, Thunder Bay up to 26 degrees. Look at winds at 29 for us as we head through the weekend. And by the time we head into the beginning of next week, Matt, uh, the departure from normal highs for us across much of southern Ontario, at least perhaps 10 degrees in some instances. For the nation's capital, 13 degrees warmer than usual with a high of 29 degrees on Monday. My goodness. And Nadine, meanwhile, the weather pattern in the west not delivering the heat. The trough helping to deliver a very active and rainy pattern. 